good morning. It's about half past ten on Friday morning. I'm on holiday here in London, staying in the Premier Inn in Chiswick. Just waiting in the foyer here, which is a bit crowded with people, which is why I'm filming at this weird angle. And I'm waiting for my daughter and her friend, and we are going to go and get the tube into the centre of London today, and we're going to go to the Science Museum, and then later on in the day, the v &A. And I'm also going to meet up with a YouTuber friend called Gareth Hopkins, who's got a channel all about learning languages. Okay, well it was crowded. They've all gone now. <laughs> I've met up with the girls and now we're heading down to the tube station. We're just coming to the station now. It's just over there. Izzy tells me I can literally just put my phone by here. I'm scared. So I have to open Top of it. What top? Does the screen have to be open? Ooh, it worked. Oh, I feel so modern. I've advanced in the technical age. I've just got to think about which way to go. Was it this way before? This way before. Oh, yeah. it's this way then, yeah. I keep looking at which one it is and then instantly forgetting. I've got a terrible short term memory. It's a warm day today. There are heat shimmers on the line up ahead. When there's a really fast train coming like that, I've noticed they give you a little friendly warning peep before it comes. You hear this little noise and I'm like, oh, get the camera out quick, there's something coming. Speaking of something coming. The next station is We've got up to give our seats to some children and we're standing on the fun bit. <laughs> That's maybe a bit too fun. I'm living life on the edge now. I want to see what happens <laughs> if I end up doing splits or not. <laughs> One foot either side. But we don't have these in Wales, all right. It's a random pressure reading thingy there. I've never seen that before. No idea what that's for. Oh, oh, it's going down, kind of flickering about. It's our stop. We have to figure out the way to go now to get to the museums. Oh, it says museums that way, that's handy. Oh, that man's trying to get in. Oh, yes, he just made it. <laughs> I would have never have had the nerve to do that, to try and prise the doors open with my hands. <laughs> I'd have thought they were going to get chopped off or something. Customers who pay the tickets, please walk straight through the gates. Please touch out. All the gates are open. Is it worked? Yeah. <laughs> it says museums this way. Natural History Museum, Science Museum and v &A Museum. Oh, this is so exciting. I've got a hand. Okay. <laughs> oh, what an adventure. We've rounded the bend. There's a lot of it. It's quite a long walk through the underpass. saying we've never seen people with contactless payment devices busking like what <laughs> but they've all got them here out and out proud <laughs> science museum straight on we've been walking for what seems like absolutely ages i mean we don't mind it's quite pleasant and fun we weren't expecting to be clocking up a load of steps this morning though the roof's kind of archy <laughs> like loads of arches if you see what i mean i don't know why there's a series of historical images here and bits of information about the history of the London Underground. Oh, the V&A is that way. Look, that's a fancy entrance, isn't it? Oh, so you can get to the V&A from the Underground. Well, that was an epic trek, but now we are finally emerging out into the daylight again. I feel like a troglodyte after all that. And here it is. There's the museum, and that's where we just emerged from. They're going to go in through this filter system by the look of it. Oh, I wonder if I'm going to have to leave anything with the security people. We'll see. Loads and loads of time has passed now. I'm just going to put him in shot. I haven't actually asked him. Hello. Say hello to Gareth. We've been chatting, haven't we? Yes. A yes. lot. So much that we haven't even picked up any cameras. I've landed on Planet Emo. Subscribe. <laughs> oh, thank you. Look where he's taken me. This is what I put the camera on for. Hang on. Look at that. Would you like to tell us what it is? It's the Albert Memorial. So um, just opposite the Royal Albert Hall over there and it was renovated a few years ago so he's looking very golden very clean yeah it's put up after prince albert died i think 
You're taking me somewhere, aren't you? Where are you taking me? We're going to the uh, summer pavilion at the Serpentine Gallery. Fabulous. Right, well, we'll see what that's like then. We've arrived at the Serpentine Gallery. And we've been given a little booklet here. And if we want to go in, which we do, we just need to scan this QR code and book a free slot. We're inside and it's pretty astonishing. Check this out. This was made in collaboration with a perfumier. If that's how you pronounce that, but we haven't smelled anything yet. <laughs> it's all these things on the floor. Ooh, like sponge inside. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Gareth's on a time limit now, he's got to go. Oh, is it? We haven't got time to do it because there's no time slots available for us, but it looks fun, doesn't it? We're heading out, I think. Are we heading out? I think so, Are we yes. done? Unless there's anything around the other side. There are holes to look through. Shall we, shall we have a peep? <laughs> Gareth's going for it. We're beginning to wonder if it's a sniff hole. Oh, it is. Oh, it's a smelly hole. I'm mean, going to try looking. Gents, gents toiletries. Some sort of, you know, expensive gents. Oh, not gents toilets then. No, no, gents um, eau de cologne or something. Oh, like that. right, okay. <laughs> Not the gents types, and that would be quite different. Right? <laughs> We're still wandering around Hyde Park. We're looking for the Memorial Fountain. I've noticed loads and loads of group sporting activities on for children as I've been going through the park. They're playing tennis over there, I think. This fountain is nothing like I expected it to be. It's not a fountain. It's, you know those lazy rivers you get in swimming pools? It's like a lazy paddling pool, but all contoured up and down and it's full of little children so it's the reason I'm not filming it at this close range. It's lovely and crystal clear look. Oh, oh that's lovely and cool. It's a really hot day actually. Look at this bit, it's a real ripply bit so it's going downhill here. It's all, yeah. Reminds me a bit of the sand you know near the sea the way the water makes it do that pattern. Is it marble is it? It's marvellous. Here we've got lots of little people paddling up. Oh, so it's really grippy on the feet if you're paddling around. It's obviously designed for paddling in because it's full of people paddling in it. Mostly youngsters. I've given Gareth the camera. I told him to tell you all about his channel. He's got about 30 seconds because he's got to get a train. It's really fun meeting someone like I feel I already know because we've got to know each other through YouTube. My channel is called Dr. Popkins How to Get Fluent and it's all about language learning basically. My own adventures in language learning, language learning events, tips and reviews. So you do check it out if you're interested in that sort of thing. And I love it. <laughs> Thank you. One of my most, most dedicated and loyal commenters and I love it as well. Thanks. It's about half past one now. I've had a really, really fun time chatting to my YouTuber friend there who I have now met. Oh, brilliant. I didn't do a lot of filming because we were just, well, we had a lot to talk about. I'm going to go into the Science Museum now. Apparently I can get back in as long as I show the QR code on my ticket. I'm going to find IB. IB's been working in this hotel room and he's, he ended up booking a later slot because he's just, yeah, got carried away with doing that. Right, I don't know if I can film in here, I'm going to ask. I think there's like a no filming policy if it's for commercial use. I, I think this might count because my channel's monetized. Anyway, you might hear from me when I've left. Well, guess what? I'm in and I am out of focus. I'm in and I had a chat to the lady at the information desk and she said, yes, I can film as long as I don't film people. Objects is okay. Definitely not allowed to set up a tripod or use any lighting, but I don't do those things when I'm out about anyway. So yeah. Brilliant, yay, we can have a little look around.